All right. Hi, guys. How are you doing? How are you doing? I can't hear you. Good? All right. So first, let's do the small exercise. Raise your hands like left. Everybody, come on. Left and the right together. And then follow me. Like faster. And this is how we'll end this presentation. So first of all, I will try to inspire you that uh, collaborative economy is a big thing and I would like you to have a closer look at this phenomenon and to, to understand this big change which is already happening in front of our eyes. Raise your hand if you already have ever used Uber. Hurry up. All right, like half of the room at least. Uh, Airbnb, also half of the room. Blah, blah, car. All right. So this is how it works. It's more efficient and it's cheaper, so you use it. But let's start with another thing, because this company, who knows this company? Raise your hand. Almost everybody, that's insane. And do you know that this company, hold on for a second because it's, this, it's not working. All right, I will stay in this place. So this company was founded in 1888, so it's like 19th century, and they controlled over 70% of lucrative film market in the 90s. Ah, all right. All right, that's cool. And they ignored digital cameras which is pretty funny for me, you know, if you look at from those times. And uh, they price, stock market price, fell down by 99%. So they missed the opportunity, and this is pretty funny. I think this example should be taught in every, you know, primary school. But the more, there's even more funny thing, like this guy, he invented digital camera, and guess where he worked? That's right, in Kodak. So he went to his, the, his bosses, he showed them this invention, and they said, come on, there's no any way that people will want to see you know, their photos on a TV set. But this, what he created, was called years later as a disruption. And here you have some examples of disruptive devices of our times. And it's pretty funny because there is no Polish word for a disruption, but we'll go back to this. And in my opinion, this is the most disruptive device ever made so far because it gives you almost everything, right? But I'm not here to talk about disruption. We'll proceed further. But only have, you have only here some examples. And for example, Uber, this is the largest taxi company, and it owns no cars. 
And for example, Society One, the fastest growing bank in the world, they have no money. You know, they use the crowd to, for their services. And this technology disruption is processing. And I believe that in the 19th century, when Thomas Edison invited light bulb, definitely oil lamp producers were protesting. I don't know about you, but I don't have a lamp at home. And the same story is with collaborative economy, because right now it's happening. We are seeing the media press cover. And people say that it steals jobs, like, for example, taxi drivers. They will lose their job anyway by 2020 by autonomous cars. So it's not a big deal. I think we should you know, perceive it like this way. And they can start to do some more productive you know, jobs right now, yeah, or start to think about it. And this is the change we are embracing. One smart guy said this. And I say that you can't see the disruption in real time. You can only see, or, or you can only say it was a disruption after it happens. And probably you remember this thing, right? Who remember this? All right. Many years ago, it was supposed to, you know, like revolutionarily change the way we travel around the city, right? Oh, actually, it changed one industry, one small industry, like security guy industry. That's the only change it made. And right now I will show you some facts that this on... Uh, there is no laser. Okay, but this one is total social network funding. Like Facebook here is funding for Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, you name it. All social networks. And here you have collaborative economy funding. What's more interesting, it's growing very, very rapidly. You can see here, year by year, how it's growing exponentially. I highly recommend you also to follow Jeremy Oyang, who is creator of this Honeycamp. He provides great content about collaborative economy uh, and US ecosystem. It's very, very big. They identified many companies working in this business model. And we also, uh, I know Jeremiah since 2014, and he allowed us to make a Polish version of this collaborative economy, Honeycamp. We will finish it very, very soon. Here you can see some few examples, like, for example, Polak Potrafi, which is a crowdfunding platform, or Brainly, probably the most known company also in other countries. And as well in mobility services and logistics, like Jade Zabiore, which is uh, Polish Postmates, and Vetrilo or Next Bikes, uh, et cetera. This first collaborative economy research I conducted with ABR, SESTA Research and Consulting, a market research and consulting company. Uh, we asked many people in Polish internet users out how they use actually collaborative economy. And the full report you will find at zgiep.com, so I highly recommend you to follow. And of course we didn't ask them, do you use collaborative economy or do, have you ever heard about collaborative economy? We asked them those questions about things they use or services, exactly name of the services and industries in which they are working. The size of the bubble says the amount of people using this service and size of the lines says how many people are using both of those services. So it's pretty interesting that Carpool Link, for example, BlaBlaCar and the other Zabiore is connected with bike sharing and also with food, right? And bike sharing is highly correlated with education. This is how people recognize collaborative economy. More than 90% are aware of this phenomenon, and more than 40 are already using it. More interesting fact is that in big cities, most of the people are using collaborative economy.
There is also a clear correlation with education and the collaborative economy in Poland. So the higher your education, the more you are using collaborative economy services. And as you can see over here, the older generation, like 55 plus, they have some assets or resources, and they are giving, though, giving access to their resources to the younger generation. This is our theory. We will definitely uh, find it out in our report. But I think this is what's happening, because there is a significant growth of using collaborative economy in this age group. Another interesting fact is that trust is very correlated also with users, aware but not users, and unaware people. So you can see how users who are, you know, they are more open for new experiences and they trust people more. That's why they use collaborative economy. Here you can see the major benefits of collaborative economy. And of course, it's for the money, so it saves money. It gives you opportunity to earn some extra money, but also it's good for environmental, you know, for environment. And social benefits are also very crucial because, as you can see, the lowest one is 46, which is still almost half of the people. The main barriers of collaborative economy in Poland is it requires new skills. And what is it actually? I call it technology, because if you need new skills, you have to know, you have to know how to tap the button, yeah? how to download the app, how to register, how to order a service, or rent a bicycle, or rent a room, or call an Uber, right? So the technology barrier, surprisingly, is the, you know, the, the most, the highest, or the, the, the worst barrier right now, which we have to embrace. And here you have five key points why collaborative economy grows exponentially. And first, almost everybody knows it. Second, 60% in big cities are already using it, so most of the people are using collaborative economy. And it's in, a, in our DNA. If you think about it, when we lived in caves, some people have stayed in caves taking care of newborns, and others were hunting and providing food, right? So collaborative, collaboration is in our DNA. And I believe that this technology, which is easy, very easy accept, accessible, it's in your pocket, right? And this is why it's growing so fast, because this is the first time in history when the collaboration is possible for the way more possible than it was ever before. And in the history of economy, if there is something which is less expensive and gives you more value, there is no any way to stop people from using it. So let's get back to the Kodak. When in 1975, Steven Sisson went to his bosses, Kodak managers were convinced that no one, actually no one, would ever want to see their pictures on a TV set, right? I call it this way. So do not let your company act like a Kodak management. Embrace the technology change. Benefit from collaborative economy. Because if you won't, others will do it faster than you think. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, I will be happy to ask them. So the last chance for questions. Anybody? Because I have some questions, if needed. Um, you were indicating that uh, you expect the older generation to mm -hmm. catch up. How important is it going to be for this collaborative economy? What do you mean, how important? For yeah, how, how, how much drive will it give? Because this, this research is based on Polish uh, data. Yeah, uh, actually. And you, and you, mention, you mentioned uh, the older generation has resources. If you have a look at 
Western Europe, uh, the older generation for sure has a lot of resources, um, which is not very efficiently used. So um, do you really think that they could be the target group to focus on? And that we forget that a little bit right now. Could you repeat the last words because of the speakers, I can't you know, hear. Yeah, we have question. some issues with sound on the stage. That's what we noticed <laughs> before today. That's right. Uh -huh. So the older generation has a lot of resources available, especially in Western Europe. How much do you believe it can have uh, impact on, on the development of this collaborative economy? I don't understand your question exactly. You know, like, what's no. your point? Just leave it. <laughs> and All it's right. too late. Microphone there. Maybe from the audience. Peer-to-peer -peer lending. Do you think this is also part of collaborative economy as you define it, or not? Peer-to-peer -peer lending. One more time, please. Peer-to-peer huh? -peer lending. Peer-to-peer -peer lending. Yes. Yes. Is it a part of collaborative economy? Yes, as you definitely. Define it? It's a money sector. And peer-to-peer -peer lending is a, one of the biggest or the fastest growing market, especially in Poland. We have more than 10 companies working on peer-to-peer -peer money lending right now. I, I know 10, maybe there are even more. So yeah, definitely. Any others, question? Then All right, we, thank you we, very much. Let me call it today. Thank you very much, Wukash.